Well, Maka, there is no doubt about it, the Pilbara region is absolutely beautiful. And what better way to discover it than through the eyes of some local artists? I couldn't agree more, Robbie. Let's step inside the gallery and see what makes this region tick. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Well, we're in for an absolute treat this morning. I'm joined by the curator, Andrew. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much for coming. Now, this region is probably most commonly associated with industry, but what people might not know is there is a whole community of artists living around here. What can you tell us about those people and their works? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why we love doing what we do up here. We've run this gallery uh, for about 12 years now, and the Pilbara as a whole is just such a creative place. Some of the best Aboriginal art coming out of Australia is coming out of the Pilbara at the moment and um, the whole region and particularly Port Hedland has such a strong non-Indigenous artistic community as well. In addition to the uh, exhibits here we do also have the gift shop, is that right? Yeah, we run a retail space with really beautiful artisan products from around Australia. We run markets up here for local creatives four times a year and just really try to make the gallery um, reflect the vibrancy and the creativity of this part of Australia. Amazing, so what can you tell us about the current exhibits that we're gonna to see today? So we have three exhibitions on in the gallery at the moment. Um, two of them are by really amazing local artists. Uh, a young guy, Howard Holder, who's lived in Port Hedland his whole life, and Michelle Siciliano, a really amazing artist who um, has lived in South Hedland for the last four years. The main exhibition we have on in the main gallery space is by a visiting artist, Guillaume Manick. That's this guy? That's this guy. And um, part of what we do with our programming here is invite artists from outside the region, um, whether that's from Perth or from other states in Australia or international artists to come here and respond to the landscape and to the community. Now this mural is actually a collaboration between Melbourne-based artist Gian Manick and the local high school students. Tell us a bit of a different story of the Pilbara region. It's awesome. I've been lucky enough to catch up with Michelle who's one of the local artists here in Port Hedland and she's got her exhibition on at the moment. Michelle, what's your exhibition called? It's called Somewhere Here Now, so it's about, um, yeah, just living in the Pilbara, living in Port Hedland. And it's caught my eye on the way past because there's lots of bits off cars and things. What's inspired it all? Finding all these objects has actually been um, inspired by my road trips around the place. I was actually doing a journey from here to Carnarvon and it's actually an old carrier off the back of a motorbike. And I knew, I knew as soon as I saw it, that I was going to turn it into a ute to represent the ubiquitous, ever-present mine ute that you see around in Port Hedland. I was going to use every one of those words you just stole from me. Well, Michelle, keep up the good work because from what I can see, you are cleaning up the side of the road one piece of art at a time. Well, like you would have heard me say a million times before, there is no better way to kick off the day than to get your fill of culture. That's right, Macca, but unfortunately we do have some packing up to do. So what do you say? We head back to the park, hitch up, and get on the road to Broome. Broome, Broome. <laughs> Just like Black Rock Tourist Park, we visit many great parks on our adventures throughout Australia. You can go to holidayparksdownunder.com.au to find a full list of amazing places to stay on your next adventure. But for now, it's time for us to pack up camp and head to our final destination. Right, last leg of the trip, Jono. Yeah, mate, 600 k's to Broome. Who's cleaning all the red dust off the caravan? Uh, you are. Thanks, mate. Should be a good drive today. Yeah. The wind's died down. Once we hitched up and did our final checks, it was time to hit the road for the last leg of our journey. Well, folks, I reckon that's about all we've got time for today. That's right, Macca. Now we're packing up in Port Hedland and heading further north to Broome. I can't wait. And it's all been brought to you thanks to our great mates at DNS Chassis. That's right, Robbie. We are heading to Broome. We told you it was a four part journey. We've only completed three. Now, three out of four is not bad, but it ain't never going to be a gold star. So, as they say in Port Hedland, that's, that's that. that. Catch you in Broome as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under.